Okay, so let's get you updated as things are moving really fast in the cruise world. The CDC still thinks cruising is a bad idea for our friends in the USA. Lawsuits, lobbying and legislation have not worked so far. We have all of the latest cruise news about this and more. Well, well hi there, there cruisers. cruisers. We're Ben and David. Make sure you hit the subscribe button below. It's completely free to subscribe. So that first piece of cruise news, and it's not good news for our friends in the USA, despite the rising pressure from cruise lines, ports, governments, basically everybody, the CDC is still telling residents of the USA not to cruise. As of today, the CDC's health notice for cruise travel remains at level four, which is the highest level. So level four basically is saying that there's high levels of COVID and is there high levels of COVID on cruise ships at the moment? Absolutely not. Especially not in the USA because there's no cruise ships sailing. So the official advice is the CDC recommends that all people avoid travel on cruise ships, including river cruises, worldwide. That's because the chance of getting COVID-19 on cruise ships is high since the virus appears to spread more easily between people in close quarters aboard ships. It's especially important that people with an increased risk of severe illness avoid travel on cruise ships including river cruisers. I think we get it, but that's really outdated, isn't it? Yeah, like hold the phone there. I mean, are they being serious with this? I it don't know. Makes absolutely no sense. We already know cruise lines already want to have cruising back with everybody fully vaccinated. So why have they said this? It doesn't make sense to me, does it you guys? It really doesn't make any sense at all, especially with the vaccination program as well. We're just really upset for you because we want all of you to get on cruises. And what's even more frustrating is that cruise lines are disappointed by the lack of a timeline or any clear instructions on further phases. The CDC released new guidelines at the beginning of the month, but they have still not given any clear information about how it's gonna all work. Yeah, it's absolutely, it's. Just frustrating. I think I feel frustrated more than anything. The Carnival Cruise Line president, Christine Duffy, said, we really just don't have the details or the transparency or engagement with the CDC that we need to begin sailing this summer, which is such an important season for the cruise industry and our vacationers. It's just so disappointing. Cruise lines are coming out in waves now. So that's Christine Duffy, Frank Del Rio from Norwegian yeah. Cruise Line came out last week and said it's just ridiculous. It's just so disappointing when we're continuing to see full flights. They think it's fine to be sat six inches next to somebody on a five hour flight between say Florida and California, but being fully vaccinated on a cruise ship and being able to social distance and the hundreds of protocols in place, it's just not good enough. Even the state of Nevada has said they have a goal to reopen Vegas to 100% capacity by June the 1st. But cruises and all, we just can't understand the logic here. It's absolutely crazy. We mentioned it before when we flew, it was very like in the airport, everyone was social distant, people were apart. And then as soon as the doors opened for the flight, everyone just ran and crammed on and there was no social distancing. There was no people apart, people were taking their masks off. Crazy. It just, I can't comprehend this at the moment. And cruise lines like Royal Caribbean have even proved that the airflow on board using the new filter technology is just as good as being on an aircraft. There's just no excuse anymore. And as you know, the state of Florida is even taking the CDC to court over this. They've launched a brand new Cruise Act bill to override the CDC. This is being done to make sure that cruising returns by July 2021 because it's having such an impact on the economy there. Do you guys feel this as well where we're obviously cruise diehard, so we're gonna be waiting for cruise to return, but the more casual cruiser is just gonna turn around and say, Oh, well, I'll just book a land vacation. I'll go to Vegas. I'll go to a theme park. I'll go to a resort instead. They're not going to wait around, are they? And it's not just Florida either. Governors from Alaska have also spoken out and are involved in the lawsuit as well. Governor Mike DeLevy said, if we don't get a positive dialogue this week, that's a real possibility because the decision will be crushing to Alaska. Alaska's gonna lose more than $3 billion each season the industry is shut down. So it's really important to them. I mean, it makes up almost 10% of their overall income. So that's a huge loss for them, isn't it? It is a huge loss. A lot of our subscribers work on the cruise season in Alaska and have got in touch with us and just said it's absolutely devastating devastating that they can't get back to their jobs and can't start earning that income again. And if the CDC need proof, well, the cruise industry has also proved that the protocols work in Europe and Asia. 
over 400,000 passengers over the past several months. The vast majority haven't even been vaccinated and they've had fewer than 50 cases found on all of these cruises through all of these months with all of the outbreaks being completely contained without impacting the experience of anybody else on board or any spread into port communities. I mean, it just goes to show that these things work. And yes. just today, Royal Caribbean even invited the CDC director on board on Twitter, which is crazy, just to show how the protocols work and that the things that they have in place. But she has refused to respond to the invitation. I love how they did it on Twitter. That's like what you do when you uh, have a problem with a company like you've ordered something it hasn't turned up and you send an angry public tweet don't you just so everybody can see i mean i think that says a lot doesn't it that the, the complaining in public and like you say yeah. once you don't get your problem resolved you always go on a twitter to get it resolved because you make you air your laundry you do yeah you feel better you get it off your chest somebody else will back you up as well well the fact is that americans will be cruising this year but they're going to have to take a flight to the caribbean to get on one isn't this even more dangerous? Making your citizens fly into a foreign country then to be able to cruise, it just makes no sense. Cruise is the only industry with these crazy rules the CDC is setting out. But the CDC has set out some guidelines if you do choose to cruise this summer. These include being vaccinated if possible, and if not, taking a COVID test within three days of departure. It also includes all the things that cruise lines are already doing as policy, such as social distancing, wask wask wearing, mask wearing, hand washing, etc, etc. You know the drill now, guys. We've said it a hundred times before. They also recommend once you get home that you are tested again. They're also trying to scare off cruisers by stating in this guidance that you may not be able to receive the appropriate medical care in other countries. I mean, come on, what are you doing, CDC? Of course you will have the care that you need because you're going to buy the correct insurance so that this will never be a problem. It's nuts. Yeah, absolutely. Isn't that a risk on any form of travel anyway, that you're not going to get the same care as you get home? We buy insurance for that very reason for when we go to any country. Even when we go to the USA, we buy the insurance that we need for the USA. So in other news, Norwegian have made changes to their refund and future cruise credit policies as a result of some feedback from the customer. So you guys, you now may be able to convert any existing future cruise credit back into a monetary refund, even if you elected to take a future cruise credit instead of a refund before. You'll be refunded to your original form of payment and forfeit any bonus future cruise credit, so the 125%, anything that was attached to your profile. To qualify, you need one of the following. Number one, you have to have been affected by two or more of the suspensions. Or number two, you cancelled via Norwegian's peace of mind policy and then was affected by at least one additional suspension. Next, as of April the 5th, 2021, you have an active and existing reservation for a voyage embarking on or before October the 31st, 2021, and will not be vaccinated. And finally, an active and existing future cruise credit is attached to a profile of a guest who has passed away. So any one of them reasons. Finally, people are really not happy with Disney Cruise Line here in the UK. As you know, they announced a series of cruises with dates from at least four ports around the UK. But in a sudden U-turn, they took down all of the information and then released that they're only going to be sailing from two ports, Southampton and Liverpool. They also pushed back a June restart to now starting in July. Sales were due to start today for Platinum Castaway Club members, but this has been changed to next Monday, the 19th of April. And there's going to be no pre-sales for club members. So as you can imagine, people are not happy and ports are said to be furious with the changes as well, pulling out at the last minute when they are really in need of business. They've also released very few details of what's required when getting on board. Do you need a vaccine or not? And what the cruisers will look like on board as well. We are super surprised with the lack of information and communication. We will be sailing on one of these cruises probably in July. So make sure that you are subscribed to our channel right now. It is free to subscribe, so click the button. Eight cruises this summer. We can't wait to take you along. So that's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching and listening to all of the latest news. Again, please do make sure you subscribe. We've got so much content coming along with those eight cruises. And thank you so much to all of our patrons as well. You guys are absolute lifesavers. We just did a Zoom call with all of you the other day, which was great. We've got another one coming up next month. We do extra footage, extra behind the scenes videos, extra videos and postcards whilst we're away. And there's lots of postcards on your way. The captain of the week is Tris. So ahoy, ahoy. there, Tris. That's it till next time. Happy, Happy cruising. cruising. 
oh, I need my cup of tea after that now. I can't wait till they start cruising in the USA again. Do you know, I spill it everywhere and that's why I always use a saucer. That's a very posh cup, David. It's because I just I've spilled... I've got a Norwegian cup. I've still managed to spill it all over the floor. Oops.